Speaking of a slaughter, <laughs> um, <laughs> we got these. Oh, right, no <laughs> we got these. Uh, we time. moving on to NFL. Bro. We get to the best part of the show. Only time ever you want to leave with the Cowboys? Yeah, no, 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 I ain't talking we about this guy. Yeah, I ain't talking time. about the Cowboys. Not yet. Oh yeah, see a hit dog boy <laughs> hollering like a uh, motherfucker. Uh, the Miami Dolphins geez. slaughter the Denver Broncos in Miami. People, I'm gonna ask you this question: Is Sean Payton a good coach? <laughs> <laughs> Not the question I thought was coming my way. Oh, uh, look, I think Sean Payton is a good coach. Um, you know, they are averaging six more points than they did last year. Uh, the defense, I don't, it's like they flipped the coin. Last year they were good, this year they're bad, and it's pretty much the same defense. So and we know that Sean Payton is always struggling on that side of the ball. It, so, so every coach ain't perfect. So, so, every coach ain't perfect. So I ask you again, is Sean Payton a good coach? Man, I think he's a good coach. I think he's I think he's above the fray. There, there's not 14 other coaches that I could um confidently name that I'm like, I'd rather take them over Sean Payton. So to me, he's above the fray. So yes, he's a good coach. Uh but when it comes to to, to these Denver Broncos, the thing is, the worst thing is he came in here with his chest pumped up. And he really thought he was going to be able to turn it over. And we're talking about an arguably the most quarter or the most quarterback talent rich division in football. Right. Obviously, Pat Mahomes is cream of the crop. We got Justin Herbert, uh, Russell Wilson. Last year, we thought he was he still has some juice. They got Jimmy G in with the with the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. That being said, Nick, to answer your question directly. Yes. Sean Payton is a good coach. Um, however, it's, it's going to take a little bit. And he's not married to Russell Wilson. Now, I know that's a big pill to swallow. <laughs> if they do cut that man or trade that man or do whatever they decide to do with that man. But here's the thing. Um, the Dolphins is, is the real story. And Mike McDaniel and what he's doing with that offense is truly something that we have not seen. We're talking about the greatest show on turf with the St. Louis Rams. This is crazier than that because that Rams team had Marshall Falk, Isaac Bruce, uh, Tory Ho and Azahir King. People forget about that third guy. And they have some speed, but they, but ain't nothing like what we seen in Miami, bro. The, the rookie guy, a cane, 200 some yards rushing on 18 carries, four touchdowns, two third three string air. running back. You know what I'm saying? They and, had two running backs out. Bro, he ran a four three. Then you got um uh who's the guy that was that was Brita? Brita? Brita, mm-hmm. yeah. Brita, four three speed. Waddle was out. Waddle was out. Tariq is four three speed. Like we have never seen. <laughs> Waddle didn't play. He was looking like no. Breida, Breida is with the with the Giants. Yeah, yeah who's the, who's the other front? Moster, 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 Arcane. Yeah, Moster and Arcane. Uh, Moster, you know, what I'm saying another four three speed guy. So what we're seeing is a, a a mastery in coaching. I know what I got. I'm gonna put the guys in position, including the quarterback. Do they take deep shots? Yes. Are they always taking deep shots? No. They kill you with the with the screen with the short stuff. Quick this pass. that, and the third. The no look, goddamn. You know what I'm saying. And then all this, boom, over the top. So I love what Mike McDaniel is doing. He's showing that, give me a guy that people question in Tua, and I'm going to make this man MVP. Can't say nothing about that. Lou, was your takeaway had anything to do with the Dolphins, or was it all about the Broncos? It was more about the Dolphins. Okay. Uh, like, similar to what FIFA, like, the Broncos, I feel like Deshaun Payton is a good coach to answer your question. I think they... He took that job with the thought process. He got a couple of years. And he's going to really see if Russell Wilson is going to be the quarterback that he's decided to move forward. It don't look like it. And it looks like he wants to be able to make that decision very confidently by letting him hang himself this season. Russell's may not be good anymore. I know last year I, I thought he was, but this year I, I think it's over for him. But the question about the Dolphins is saying it was it more about them. I do think it was. The offense, as FIFO said, like they had to sit on the ball not to break the record. Mm-hmm. Like you talking about they 70, 70 with eight minutes left. You you talking about they maybe could have got two more touchdowns in there. Yes, the Broncos, they did have a good defense last year. They may not be as motivated this year, but again, we're talking about 70 point speed that we haven't seen before. They were missing a lot of players. I would be, and and, and Tua looks amazing. As fast as he gets the ball out, it, it, it looks like it's gonna be really hard for defenses like Dallas or the Eagles or the 49ers whose pass rush is what their strength is. It's not going to matter. The ball going to be gone. Like, it's going to be in Tyreek Hill hand. It's going to be in Waddle hand. And they're going to be making uh, 
yards after the catch. So it's going to be – what I took away from this, it's going to be very difficult for teams to match up with uh, Miami. If Tua stays healthy and Mike McDaniel keeps calling plays like he's doing – they're going to be a team to watch out for. Shout out to the Dolphins, but I completely disagree. This is all about the Broncos. Thank you. You gave up 70 freaking points. Yeah. Who gives 70 a fuck points about in the offense? NFL. This ain't college. Who gives a fuck about offense? I tell you, when a defense is giving up 70 points. Real quick, the week before y'all go. Because that's not even real the real offense quick, no real more. Real quick before y'all go. In the odds this week, Broncos play the Bears. Who you think the favorite is? And the Bears at home. Neither one of them. Bears at home. I'm just saying, if you had to pick, who would you say the favorite was? Broncos. Why? I thought it was more about them. Like you just gave up seventy, but you going to Chicago. But you at least, but you at least it's acknowledge Chicago. Russell's that's a quarterback. Bad Justin Fields you at least, is. I'm sure we'll that's get to that point. Yeah. Go. That, but Lou, at least you acknowledge that Russell's a quarterback. You don't even acknowledge that on the other side right, of the right, football. Right, <laughs> right. right. My, and my thing is, to Shell's point, I'm gonna let you go, Shell. But nah, yeah, that seventy points from just a defensive <laughs> aspect is just like I, I can't get that out of my head. I can't get that out of my head. That don't mean as much to me because you can make it up next week. You no, know, you can't points. beat the shit out of the Bears next week. Man. Nobody will remember we gave up 70. 70 points. You, you gave up 70 in a game. You know what I mean? That ain't been done in my lifetime that I can remember. Somebody give up 60s. 70. The 60s. You know what I'm saying? So, so in the week before, it, uh, New England gave up 24 to the same team. And, and we could talk about one of the we best defensive about, coaches of all time is New England, though. It don't matter. You don't, need to, be, you don't need to be the greatest to give to not give up 70, 70 my points. nigga. I'm just saying. Dion would have gave up 70 It's too. innovative. <laughs> Nate, Nate Hackett right. was a horrible right. coach based, based off what Sean right. Payton said. He ain't give up 70. It right. ain't no brainiacs on the Look. defensive side of the ball in Denver. Like, they defensive coordinator is not special. He's like some random dude. Who is he? But this is why it's about 70. the offense. And, and the reason being is this. That defense, from a DB perspective, gave respect. To the wide receivers, and they still got burnt. They still got beat. So not only was it scheme, obviously it was athletic ability and, and skill set, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, it just showed – because let's be honest, Miami's been the most dominant team in these three weeks. So so, so based on what y'all are saying, we need to wrap up this season then because if you're going to score 70 points, you're no, the most – and they I can't stop no, you. No, because you're the that. best be team in the world. Be no, you can't because, be stopped. Because we but know you ain't the worst team in the world for giving it up. Oh, yes, you are. Case in point, them being favorites going to Chicago next week. They're the worst too. Ken. Chicago worse than them. That's what I'm saying. They Ken. ain't gave up 70 yet. It ain't just. They just got worse worse Shel Denver. Shelton brought it up, but I want. Chicago I, is worse yeah, than Yeah, Chicago Denver. the worst team in the league by far. Shelton brought it up, but I wanted. I, we we got to have a conversation. This is officially be having a, a, one of the moments that I said in the show. We're going to have a conversation. And it's about Sean Payton. Who the fuck does Sean Payton think he is? <laughs> Sean Payton ain't worth Super a Bowl winning coach. He's not. It's a Super Bowl winning coach. So is Mike McCarthy. It ain't that many of them in the league. So is Mike McCarthy. It ain't that many of them in the league. So is Sean McVay. Okay. You got any faith for them in this, this season? I'm just saying. I'm saying, asking you. But when you say who do you think he is, it's because he got that ring. No. He, bro, do you know the last time he even went to the playoffs? I don't. I, I, do you I know don't. last time they had a playoff win? I don't. But I, I have more faith in him. For two, three years than I do for just losing a game by ten. What say you? A, a, a game? Have, have they won a game this year? No, they haven't. They're gonna win. <laughs> I promise. Can you. I, they're going to win next week. They're going to beat oh, the Bears. All right, Lou. Let me ask you a question then. Uh, between Nat Hackett and Sean Payton, between their first three games, did they did Nat Hackett go zero three? Is worse. No, I'm saying did he go zero three? I don't know, but I know you, you don't know. I, know I can tell you, he coach. did not. I've seen that. They, they he did Hackett not last year and the first three games of this year with the Jets be completely Spike, terrible. Go ahead, you can't come in talking all that shit, <laughs> Sean and then give up seventy <laughs> points. Seventy. You can't come in talking shit Bro, about Nathaniel Hackett. You folks just compared this offense to the best offense. We're we not about the offense. No, no, this no, ain't about the offense, no, 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 it's not because we no. didn't even know what FIFA was talking about until he played Sean Payton. <laughs> we right. didn't know that FIFA was talking not about true. some shit until been, been, we, been, we had to see it. So I've been saying this last season. I'm comparing them to the greatest show I'm saying that. I'm saying that your evidence is the fact that they gave up 70 points. No, the greatest show on turf was the best offense that we've seen in this generation. He's comparing them to that. It's a lot more saying about that offense than it is the no, defense. No, 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 no. This is about week one loss. This is about week two loss. And this is about the week through loss right. that it has been Damn. blown up because they gave up 70 points. This has been going on and on. And he came and he talked shit about Nathaniel Hackett. Yes. He said he blamed uh, Nathaniel Hackett for Russell Wilson's. And here, here's what's going to happen. They're going to beat the Bears next week. Then they play the Jets and they're going to beat the Jets. That ain't going to make sure I'm paying the better, bro. Streak, and then people going to forget about it. They lose to the Jets. It's a wrap. They're going to beat the Jets. Let me ask you this. If the Broncos go 8-8, eight and eight, but the Dolphins average damn near 40 points a game, what are we going to talk about more? 
that Sean Payton is a, a bad coach or the Dolphins the are arguably the greatest offense, offense ever. The Dolphins are not going to average 40. I'm going to let you know that right now. It doesn't even matter. They what? Didn't score, did they score 40 on the Pats? Y'all on Sean Payton. Did really they even score 30 strong. on the Pats, FIFA? Like, yeah, keep Sean looking Payton at your ball. phone. Look, bring up the stats. Did y'all win? Did y'all win? Did y'all win? Bro, we're talking about one game. No, we're talking about three. Yeah, we're, talking we're talking about, about oh, okay. we're talking about no game. This is a new coach. What are you talking about? He's a new coach. Don't do that. 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 Ain't nothing new about Sean Payton. Well, he knew the difference. Did you expect him to be 0 and 3? No, I didn't. All right. But I tell you what, I, I promise you, he won't go 0 and 6. He'll win the next two games. <laughs> He'll win the next You're two games. You're only saying that he's going to win the next two. Much. He's only saying they're going to win the but next look, two games because that, it's the Bears and, and it's the, the Jets, Jets without yeah, Rodgers. All right, great. That's just, all you need is a break. But right, now we want two straight. That's, that's a pathetic effort. Right Justin right Fields and Zach Wilson. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, man, you got to break And Russell schedule. Wilson ain't any better. And it wouldn't surprise me if, if Sean Payton ended up fucking losing those games. Now, yeah, if Sean Payton, be then we'd be having if Sean Payton go 0 5. Be be to, I'll that. be right over there with y'all if these so, next two so, games. So, so you're saying they're the best of the worst? Yeah. Easily. Easily the best of the worst. To me, if Sean Payton goes 0 and 5, he is clearly trying to get Caleb Williams. And he's clearly trying to get Russ out the fuck out of there. That's the only justification for him to be 0 5, especially if he's losing to Justin Fields and the Jets. Yeah, that's crazy. They lost 13 straight games. FYI. Mm. I can't believe you trying to make an excuse for fucking Sean Payton. I'm not making hey, an excuse. Shit. Hey, this man has came in early. The, the game wasn't even, no, the down wasn't even started. He had to bust over Bro, Russell Wilson early. Still, still and he, and every week been talking shit. And then all of a sudden he give up 70 points and get mad at a reporter talking about some nigga. You knew it was a historic loss. You knew he was talking shit about a historic. You said Nathaniel Hackett was a historic coaching failure. Nigga, you gave up 70 was fucking points. So nah, yeah, nah, the, the question is, he was right. The question is, are you a good coach? But, that, but, but, but that reporter yes. didn't ask that. Yeah, he should have. Yes, okay, well, then he you is, go up though. there then. He, he would have lost his job. Let, lost let, his let's get you a media uh, pass, <laughs> Nick. For the next day. <laughs> hey, we're going to start a go for me so that way we can get Nick. We already know. Chicago. We already know. They don't let Leroy's in those rooms. I would be a Leroy in that room because I'm asking all the questions niggas don't want to ask. I'm sitting up very press conference like so i gotta be the one Are you all right nigga what the fuck was you thinking <laughs> fuck out of here he trying to blame it on one of the worst coaching i want to make sure i get this right, right one though. of the worst coaching jobs yeah. in the history of the nfl right, nigga. Man. And, and, then he gave him and then he's zero and three and gave up a, a record number of points about god's what? real man he gotta pay for that he oh, shouldn't have said man. that he shouldn't have said that, even though he was right. He, he should have left it on Russ. Is what he should have did. So the football guys making it pay. Football guys real. He mm -hmm. just had to pay for he it. He should have left it on Russ. That's he what I left it alone. I'd have been like, he didn't leave it alone. And he got scoffed. seventy put up on. Him. He's, it's a bad week. He's not gonna have a bad season. He scoffed. I promise you. He that. scoffed. He's not gonna have a bad season. They gave up seven. They're not gonna have a bad season. You think they're gonna be a below five hundred team? They have to be yeah. at this point. <laughs> They have of to course. be. Not, there's no. There's there's no. There's no way to justify the season. Of course. Because if he. Because to me. Don't you might as well take. Don't even look at that schedule. They're, you might as well. You might as well take. It don't matter. They're doing worse than the Cardinals. You might as well take. It don't matter.